As you guys can see, I'm at my brother's place again. This guy has calmed down. Something this small is so deadly. It's not 100% sure he will eat. Yeah, one of the fastest drugs in the world. But revealing our project. Yeah, so guys, get ready. How about you? He's adorable. Well, it can be a she, but my brother calls it a he. Hello, all you wonderful people, and welcome back to the channel. Or welcome if you're new. Well, as you guys can see, I'm at my brother's place again. And for those of you that saw the live, it's no news to you. But yeah, I'm here because, well, we have a project that we're going to start together. So, well, let's dive into it. So stick around and I really hope you'll enjoy this. Here's a bit feisty. Yeah, she looks really thick. But first we're gonna do some maintenance, right? And uh, some feeding. Yeah, so uh, I'm gonna change the water. And some of the smaller guys, like these, are getting fed today. And these are my saw scale vipers and they are they are very fun but a little bit crazy yeah they're so cute yeah that guy just struck at me yeah. and got some dirt in his mouth that's what you get man yeah or girl that's the female okay yeah she's a little bit larger than him but it's super hard to tell yeah it's for me it's impossible but well it's not my snake, so maybe it's easier to see when you own them. Yeah. So, these guys, crazy snakes, I'm gonna use the tongue to grab the water bowl. Yeah. Um, this guy is actually out and he's going to get fed as well. Yeah. So, this is a... That's a spectacle spectac cobra. Spectacle cobra. Yeah. Naya Naya. Yeah, exactly. Uh, also known as the Indian Cobra uh, But this guy is actually from Sri Lanka. Well, that's a locality. It's a captive bred snake, of course By the way, is he going through a shed? Yeah, he is. He is a little bit darker than normal uh, I was thinking about the eyes. They are real milky. Yeah, so It's not a hundred percent sure he will eat today, but We'll uh, we'll give it a try Hopefully, yeah. but we're gonna start with these and then we have a couple of others as well going to eat. Yeah. Yeah. So let's start. Yeah. Yeah. Look at them. So active. That's why we are using the tongs. Yeah, because you do not want to get bit by these guys. No, you really, really don't. Tell me again, these are included in the big four? Yeah, uh, the big four of India. So these guys, and actually the Cobra, together with the uh, Russell's Viper and the Indian Crate, are the four most responsible for bites every year in India. That's crazy. Yeah, it is. And. Uh, the saw scale is uh, deadly, right? Yeah, they are. They have a nasty, nasty bite. Yeah. But it's really strange that something this small is so deadly. Yeah, like drop for drop, they are very potent, so it doesn't take much at all. And of course, these are still young snakes, they will get uh, a bit bigger and uh, she will probably be around like 80 centimeters yeah so uh, about two, two and a half, half foot. foot yeah exactly which is still not a large snake but yeah yeah they're so cool I love them they're awesome So yeah, he's, or I actually don't know the sex of the snake, but I call it a he. Um, 
But yeah, he's all the way in the back, so I feel pretty comfortable just reaching him like this. This little guy is so cute. He's adorable. Well, it can be a she, but my brother calls it a he, so, well, for me it's a he as well. But this snake is, he is adorable. Little baby cobra. Naja, Naja. So awesome. But yeah, again, something this small can kill you. Which is actually kind of insane. So you should always treat, well, all animals with respect, but animals that can kill you with a bite, you should really treat them with the most amount of respect that is humanly possible. So, who lives in here? So yeah, this is my uh, Indo-Chinese spitting cobra, or uh, black and white spitting cobra. Although, she doesn't have any black in her at all, which is quite cool and quite unique. Uh, I've actually never seen that before. So I feel quite special to have her. Yeah, she is so cool. Yeah. Nice to see her actually sticking her head out the cork tube. Yeah, uh, when she moved to this enclosure, uh, I actually managed to see her a bit more and she pokes out her head a bit more. That's so, nice. Yeah. But one thing though, the plants yeah that, not doing great yeah it's in, a, in the fern looks a little bit yeah it's probably gonna die as well because i can't keep plants alive it's impossible for me well at least you keep the animals alive so yeah i mean that's the important part yeah i just wish it would look a bit better as well and i i, I prefer to use live plants uh, because you know it's greater for the humidity and it looks better. Yeah, but, absolutely. Yeah, but they do not look good right now, of course. So yeah, I'm gonna have to fix that. But yeah, no rush. No. Well, this guy has calmed down. Like I don't know, it, it's it's insane. Yeah. So uh, this is my monocle cobra and I mean he's been like the most crazy snake you could imagine. Like he would attack the glass and always hood up and uh, yeah. being being pissed all the yeah. time. Yeah. Really the, pissed. The, the couple of times I met him before, he was well act like he wanted to kill everyone. Yeah. And now he's just yeah, he's just cruising around yeah. and doing... No defensive posture, not even hooding up. It's like, have you replaced him or what? Yeah, you could almost believe that I have. He is so calm. Yeah. I mean, he does get a bit crazy when I take him out, but even that part has been a lot of, you know, chill. And I actually, since we've been quite busy all day, I don't have the energy to deal with him today. But I will have to pick him out tomorrow. Yeah. And clean a bit, because he's made a mess. He's so cool. Yeah. Um, well, if you look in those eyes, you actually see a lot of intelligence. I would say at least. Yeah. He's he's not stupid. No. That's why, you know, the the small amount of work you've done with him the past the, the past few weeks has calmed him down this much. It means that he knows now that no one is out to get him. He's learned that just from you. Yeah. And that's amazing and it's an amazing feeling yeah like it started out like an experiment and just to see if it would work 
and yeah, it actually it actually does. It worked out. Oh, perfect to be honest. Yeah. So I can't wait to see how it'll be in the future. Oh. He is going to be <laughs> what is he doing? I don't know, he's acting weird. So he's yeah. actually he's actually really cute. Yeah, he, 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 he is. He is charming actually. Yeah. And I mean his face is like he's got a puppy face. No, it, it's actually re really nice not see seeing him pissed off all the time. Yeah, I mean it's um, it's cool to see like a cobra hooding up because you know it's such a yeah. classic pose. Yeah. But I do prefer when they act like this. Yeah. Like Just it's... a calm dude. Now he's digging. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know what he's up to, but well. It's too bad you don't have the energy to take him out. Yeah. Because it would be real cool to see him out. I've never seen him out, so. Yeah. But anyway, enough of you, my wonderful little dude. We have to move on to other snakes. Wow, wow cool. Look, look. <laughs> okay, he lifts the whole thing. Yeah, he's taking a shortcut. Yeah. He does that. There he is. And the shed is going out tomorrow, so... Yeah. So, this is the male puff feather, right? Yeah, exactly. Unfortunately, it's really hard to get a good shot of him. Yeah, but you can kind of see a bit of his back down in that little slot. But oh, that's no better. Yeah, it's super hard. Yeah. Uh, it's a shame because he is a good looking snake. Yeah, he is gorgeous. And this is one of the world's fastest striking snakes. Yeah, it is, which is uh, quite cool. Yeah, they are really venomous. Yeah, these guys uh, are responsible for most bites in Africa every year or fatalities every year so not a snake to take lightly well would you look at that he has his head out of way really glad I got this footage Look how beautiful this snake is. It's insane. And I'm sitting in a very awkward position so can't feel much longer but here we have a beautiful puff feather. And here we have a female puff feather. And believe me guys, the camera does not do these snakes justice I really want to pet her little tail there you see it there there her little tail I want to pet it but if I do that she'll probably bite me and uh, well that would not be good for me but she's so cute yeah, they're so beautiful these snakes so now it's time to Start feeding the saw scale vipers. Yeah. So I'm gonna start with that one. No? How about you? Yeah, that's a bit of a difference. Yeah. I would say. Okay, not hungry or what? This actually never happens. No, the, there we oh, go. There we go. Yeah. And there's one inside. So it's gonna be exciting to see how this goes. So yeah, that I'm actually not gonna film that because the pink is kind of falling apart because you know yeah. it's been in the freezer. 
We'll take yours. Doesn't seem like it. I'm just gonna put it there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna disappear one way or another. Exactly. easiest thing in the world to feed these guys. Yeah. You can see the fangs. Yeah. Well, the small fangs they do have. That one's almost done already. Yeah. What the heck? Yeah, they eat fast. Yeah. Almost all done. How about you? Still figuring it out. So next up is this little dude, and you can see he's deep in shed. Let's see if he'll eat anyway. He smells it. But is he going to take it? If you put it even closer to it now, it starts to move. Now he really no he knows it's there. Yeah, I'm actually oh he's got it. Yeah. That was so cool. Next up is the spinning cobra. She was out just maybe five seconds five seconds ago. Yeah, something like that. But then I moved the light over here. Yeah, that's and her. yeah. She is a very, very shy snake. I'm actually getting a bit of a cramp, so... A little drop feed. Yeah, that'll have to do. That was amazing. Yeah, one of the fastest strikes in the world. He is... Yeah. Well... That's a beautiful snake. Yeah. Now it's time for this beautiful little lady to eat. Yeah, she's 
not often shown striking her food by. Hopeful she will this time. Oh, she dropped it, I think. Yeah, she dropped it, but it, it's right next to her, so. Yeah, I had the tongue grip too tight, so. Yeah. She lost that happens it. sometimes. Yeah, but she will most definitely eat it. Yeah. So, brother, what do you say about revealing our project? Yeah. I think it's time. You think they are ready? I think so. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. So, guys, buckle up. Yeah. So, guys, get ready. But for those of you that saw the live, you probably know what's waiting now. But yeah. you never saw the female. So, yeah. Open up. So, who should we start with? Yeah, uh, for so those of you from my channel that didn't watch the live, that's true. I better grab in and pick up this guy. Oh, sorry, honey. Oh, and he's wrapping around. Oh, well, everything's cold to hell. Yeah, of course. They've been super nice, but now we're recording, so of course it's gonna be. And now we're starting to climb, of course. Yeah. Well, this is not going according to plan. It does not. But that's how it goes when you work with animals, so yeah. Yeah, there we go. So, this, this is a super dwarf slash dwarf reticulated python. That was a hard work, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm already pretty damn tired, so yeah. chasing a snake around. Yeah, that's the best thing, maybe. Yeah, that's more than I bargained for. And yeah, guys, this is a project, a breeding project, that me and my brother are going to work on together, but the snakes are going to live here. Yeah, because I do have this ginormous enclosure so and um, they don't have any names yet so if you have any suggestions drop them in the comments yeah we accept suggestions from everyone yeah <laughs> what are you doing goofball and now so let's see we're going to bring out the big guns so to speak yeah the big and heavy guns yeah Ugh. here we have our big so, mama and that's on her face it's dirt so yeah yeah she's a little bit dirty but other than that just look at how pretty this is yeah she's gorgeous yeah so yeah this is what is it purple albino Tiger? Purple albino tiger. Yeah. And... Yeah. I don't even need to say anything. Just look at her. But I don't think that the camera does her justice. No, of course not. Okay. Yeah, that's probably impossible. Yeah. She has a purplish... Purplish, what you call it? Hue? Yeah. Uh, well, she is just... Well, I know I say this about all the snakes, but she is gorgeous. She really is. And I think he, this little guy is gorgeous as well, of course. Yeah. There you are, my little dude. Hello, cutie. So yeah, this girl is quite heavy. And they are really well-behaved snakes. Yeah, they are. They are super nice. I always heard that retics can be a bit nippy. Yeah, uh, dwarves and super dwarves. Uh, I mean, the rumors say that they have a temper. But yeah. this guy and her, she, they, they're just super chill. Yeah. But very strong, so... Yeah, very strong. Yeah, she's gripping my neck quite tightly. But, you know, it's, it's been yeah. a... No, it's been a 
long, exhausting day, so I'm gonna enjoy this little neck massage. Yeah. Ah, beautiful. They are so, yeah, just great snakes. Yeah. You know, when you can have a snake that wraps around all of you, that's pretty special actually. And he's not even that, he's not that big, but, well, he, he's a bit thin, but he's a male, so. Yeah. <laughs> but this girl, when she wraps around you, you can really feel the power. It's... Yeah, she's just holding on and... Hello, honey. Yeah, it's it's a tight grip. I don't think you should be on top of him, actually, so... You can come to me, but I have to put him back. Yeah. Okay, honey, you see how... She's just so nice. Yeah, she's not head shy or anything. No. She has a bit of dirt in her corner of her mouth here. Yeah. Put that away. Well, now I want to hold her, so... I'm yeah, so, yeah, just put him back. We've been hanging out with these... Well, especially him. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, he can go back. And they, they were actually quite comfortable until we... Yeah. Disturbed we disturbed their nap, so... Yeah. Take go back on her, dude. So yeah, before I let her go, take a look. Isn't this cool, guys? Oh, sorry, dude. There you go. Yeah, let's see. You guys come to me? Yeah. So it's a bit of a project just, you know, handling her. Yeah, because she's so big and strong-willed, I would yeah. say. Yeah. So, uh, and this a snake this big, you should not handle on your own. Yeah. She has the tightest grip on my fingers. <laughs> yeah. She's not even trying. Yeah, so yeah, I'm just going to Tickle her tail. She is so freaking strong. Yeah, she is. But there we go. Hello. Look down there. Uh -huh. I don't know if my audience can see this. Hopefully they can. And she, she is a lot heavier than she looks. That she is. See, this is, well. She does have. Now she's have a real good grip on my legs, so and um, yeah, if you guys are wondering, they are both a bit thin, but they have only been in our possession for two weeks, so it's not because of us, and uh, we're going to fatten them up, so to speak. Yeah. But I know retics are not supposed to be fat. I know that as well, but they are actually a bit on the thinner side if you ask me i think yeah. that at least but we're not gonna feed them as gay brew with us so yeah definitely not no they're not supposed to be obese no well she is big mama she is and she actually is literally a big mama she is a proven breeder breeder both of them are. They have produced babies before. Yeah. So, yeah. It's gonna be nice to see how that turns out. Yeah. It's gonna be amazing. So, that was the retics. And yeah, for those of you that we, we never said what kind of spe species. Yeah, I think I mentioned it. Yeah. We said dwarf, uh, super dwarf, but these two are reticulated pythons. But none of them are mainland, so these are not giant snakes. No, these two are adults. They, yeah, they are adults. So, but that was the retics, and this is me and my brother's project that we're going to work on together. So, hope you guys enjoyed meeting them. So guys, that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. And well, I really hope you enjoyed meeting the new gang. 
And well, as you probably understand, they're going to stay here with my brother because I don't have this big enclosure at home and I don't have room for it. So they have to live here, but that's cool with me and it's cool with my brother. So yeah, yeah I, I had it to spare, so to speak. So. Yeah, and not everyone has a gigantic enclosure to spare, but my brother did so yeah this was an opportunity we yeah. just couldn't refuse to yeah speak. pretty much yeah uh, but anyway where was i well sorry off topic but guys yeah i really hope you enjoyed today's video and please don't forget to subscribe hit like and comment it helps a lot you know with the algorithm so please do that please and also subscribe to my brother's channel tommy's serpents Put a link down in the description. So, I'm gonna leave you with this, guys. Take care, be kind to someone, and at least always try to show other people respect. So, till next time, goodbye, guys.